Hey guys, Ben with Amara Rent Equipment. Bringing you another video today. I'm gonna to show you this uh, Posi Lock model number 108. It's a three jaw puller. And just wanna show you guys uh, what it did. I bought this specifically <laughs> for this actual job, but we, uh, we do use, um, do have the uh, need for a puller on multiple um, jobs that I've needed in the past. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger on this PosiLock brand uh, puller. It is a little bit pricier than the standard pullers um, <clears throat> that you find on Amazon or one of those other uh, websites. Um, but the PosiLock, that's one of the main things that this company does um, is this gear puller. So this is a 17 ton puller. Um, and this is the PT-108. Um, three jaw, it has a 17 ton capacity, an eight inch reach. It will spread to 12 inches wide from 0.75 inches to 12 inches wide. Has a weight of 14 pounds, so it's, it's a beast. Um, the, center, the center bolt here on this unit, sorry here, is a three quarter of an inch. It can be removed as well, just like that. It has a point on the tip there. Looks just like that. Has a little seal inside, if you can see that, um, which God helps it to have suction against the bottom of the puller um, there, which I'm gonna use that, uh, this for this, uh, this job here, because inside, um, that piece that I need to pull off, it's threaded. <clears throat> so I will need to have that center bolt there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. It has a maximum torque of 220 pounds. Um, so this thing is a beast. Um, but I wanted to get a little bit nicer unit. I didn't want to buy a cheap one because we do tend to use them on various jobs around the shop with all my equipment. And today I'm pulling, um, this piece that holds the auger on, this auger, it holds the auger on, and I have to get it off so we can pull off this sprocket, um, which is uh, needs to be replaced because it's causing the uh, the dry the uh, the chain and the teeth to to jump. So trying to pull this off so we can get to the the bolts that hold that sprocket on. So uh, we tried all sorts of other things to get it to be removed, um, but we had no luck. So I haven't actually tested this 17 ton puller. I'm gonna do this uh, the first time. So you'll have to bear with me a little bit because it might be a little bit slower, but, um, and, and if it fails, then, um, then I'm sorry about that, but uh, I think we'll be all right. I think it's gonna work. So it's got a lot of force, a lot more uh, force than the cheap, three jaw puller that I have. So uh, hopefully this works and um, we'll get this set up. We're gonna pull this off. I just wanted to show you guys if you had any interest in a heavier duty puller, what this uh, PosiLock 108 model can do. They do have a bunch of different models um, on their website. Uh, so check them out if you have any interest. So with this, if you can see here, guys, at your, uh, it's got a one inch drive uh, nut there. Um, and also too, it has this T handle that you can spin, which causes the jaws to close in. And then you use this drive nut right here um, to force that in and cause it to pull out on, the, on these pullers here. So I'm gonna get this set up. Hopefully this works.
Bring me up. Bigger socket. They did say that you can use a bar to help uh, with resistance against using the uh, the wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the bar as well since it's spinning. Actually bent the bar, so I probably need to go something stronger. All right, I got a little bit stronger uh, um, bar stock here, so hopefully we can get it to pop. Adding a bar extension. I don't know if you saw it before, but if you look in the center there, it did pop finally. Uh, this does have a key way built into it, which they changed the design because when we called the manufacturer and they told us they changed the design of this because it was so hard for people to get, change out the sprocket on the machine and get this piece off here because it would seize. But uh, 17 tons of force with the bar extension a six foot bar extension on my carlisle extended uh ratchet there um and you can see this thing's a beast i'll show you what it looks like afterwards I'll show you i didn't bend it or anything it's kind of a little leery about this it was a 200 dollars gear puller so but you can see that middle section it's already moved a good quarter inch or half inch or so so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it the rest of the way. I'll show you the condition of this gear puller just to show you it wasn't damaged. Okay, didn't round out the nut. Let me pull this off here. Still in great shape. It's hot. 
<laughs> That's how much uh, pressure was against that. Sucker's hot. Popped right off. As you can see, no damages to this. It's well made with quality steel. You don't have your cheap, your cheap stuff uh, for this unit. No cheap steel made with this unit, so everything's high quality. You do pay for it, but you can see um, it has a keyway in it. That thing was seized on there real good. But it's off now. So, there you go, guys. That is the uh, Posi Lock. That's the model number 108. Like I said, they do have a bunch of different models for these posi locks, uh, just for the different applications that you need it for. But just wanted to give you a, an overview of that. Maybe some of you guys are having a hard time with your, uh, your 23, 24, uh, Beretto trenchers. And probably not very many people, but, uh, if you guys are having issues with it, that's how you get it off um, on the older models. So, all right, guys, well, that's it. Again, this is Ben with Ameriren Equipment. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions about this model or any of my equipment or want me to do any future videos, feel free to uh, message me or message on one of my videos, and I'd be more than happy to share with you guys. S subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.